Hello, it's Phil Thatch and Heather and Casey and I are here at the Contempo Cafe. There goes the monorail. This is a counter service restaurant in Disney's Contemporary Resort. We're staying right next door at Bay Lake Tower and we've already kind of started doing some photography. This trip is all about the Nikon Z50 and the two kit lenses, the 16 to 50 and the 50 to 250. I'm making this clip right now with the 16 to 50 and I've already done a panorama and a couple of other shots from our eighth floor balcony which faces this way, it faces the Contemporary Resort. You can also have it face the pool or you can have it face Magic Kingdom. Uh, if you're really unlucky, you can have it face uh, the garbage area. But uh, we always, if we get a lake view, we always request that it faces the Disney Contemporary Resort Marina and you can see lots of great stuff from there. So anyway, we're gonna eat our meat lovers flatbread. What'd you get, Heather? Um, pasta. Heather got pasta, Casey and I got meat lovers flatbread. So we're gonna eat that and we've got a whole day tomorrow where we don't go to any of the parks. So tomorrow we'll do some swimming and we'll cruise around the Disney World Resort and definitely do some photography with the Z50. I made this photograph with the Z50 and the 50 to 250. These are two ferry boats as they cross paths on Bay Lake. The one in the foreground is heading from Fort Wilderness Campground to the Magic Kingdom and the one in the background is heading from Magic Kingdom to Fort Wilderness. Here is another photograph made from our 8th floor Bay Lake Tower balcony. This is looking to the right over at Disney's Contemporary Resort and you can see the Skyview Bridge that goes from the 5th floor of Bay Lake Tower to the 4th of the Contemporary Resort in the foreground. This is a time lapse that I made one morning I made this with my iPhone just uh, sitting on a tripod looking out at Bay Lake and the Contemporary Marina. I thought it was really beautiful and I decided to include it in this video. I hope you enjoy it. This is a 26 shot panorama that I made with the Z50 and the 16 to 50 kit lens from our 8th floor balcony of Bay Lake Tower, looking over at Disney's Contemporary Resort on the right and Bay Lake and the Disney Contemporary Marina in the middle. In the distance on the far left is where the Fort Wilderness Campground is. You can't see it because there's an island in the way. But I really like the way this came out with the orange sky on the right as the sun sets and the blue sky on the left where the setting sun is completely on the other side of the skyline and the neat thing about this particular viewpoint even on the eighth floor it would be much better from a higher floor but there's several Disney landmarks you can see and the first one is the easiest the green roofed building is Disney's Wilderness Lodge Copper Creek area so that's the easiest thing to see and the next thing if you look at the pointed building that's the Disney Swan and Dolphin there in the middle and slightly to the right you'll see another bump coming up that is the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror at Hollywood Studios and you can see they're building a sister to the Swan and Dolphin Resort there. Uh, this one's a little bit harder to see but if you look slightly to the right of center on the tree line you can see the top of Spaceship Earth what some people call the Epcot Ball there at Epcot Center and this one's even harder but this is all parts of that same panorama slightly to the right of center on the tree line you can see the pointed jagged top of Expedition Everest the fantastic roller coaster at Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park okay the next couple of images come from the fourth floor inside Disney's Contemporary Resort here you can see the outer rim bar on the left hand side in the center is Chef Mickey's full service restaurant and to the right is the Contempo Cafe, which is a counter service restaurant that we love to eat at. We were there at the first clip of this video. Here on the other side of the fourth floor, you can see the Fantasia gift shop. To the left of this shot, you can see BVG, which is Bayview Gifts. You can see Bay Lake from the windows of that store. And on the right hand side, you can see the market where you can buy more normal things like bread and milk and beer. In this long exposure light trail shot, I'm looking at the front of Bay Lake Tower, just the very bottom of it, 
where you would drop off your luggage as you are checking in or checking out of the resort. I thought this area was really beautiful and I've always thought that. I love the way the recessed lighting in the rectangles is really pretty. This next shot is out nearly at the end of the Contemporary Marina dock and I'm looking back at the Contemporary Marina. You can see on the right hand side of the shot is the Skyview Bridge which runs from the fourth floor of the Contemporary to the fifth floor of Bay Lake Tower where we were staying. And in this next shot, this is a three shot high dynamic range shot from further out to the end of the dock where that last shot was made. You can see Bay Lake Tower, it's shaped like a U and our room was on the eighth floor of that side looking towards the marina and you can see the Skyview Bridge as it heads over to the left towards Disney's Contemporary Resort. Okay, so this is Bay Lake Tower. This is where we stayed and our room where I did a lot of those photographs was on this side of this U-shaped building on the eighth floor. It has like 15 or 16 floors and we were facing in this direction and you can look straight from there. This is the Skyview Bridge that goes between the fifth floor here and the fourth floor here at the Contemporary Resort. This is the monorail track and the Contemporary Resort's famous because the monorail goes right through it. This is the um, the dock where I did a lot of the photographs from and if you look down in this direction over here is Fort Wilderness Campground. All this huge area is Fort Wilderness Campground. Those two boats in that picture were crossing about right here. This is the Wilderness Lodge with the green roof that you could see in that panorama. And the funny thing is, over here, this entire thing is the Magic Kingdom. And our hotel is the closest hotel of any Disney hotel to the Magic Kingdom. But from our room, you can't see that park at all. But if you follow World Drive down here, pretty good ways. Eventually, you'll come to Epcot, and we can see Spaceship Earth, the big uh, Epcot ball from our room. And let's follow World Drive a little bit further. Right here is the Swan and Dolphin Hotels, which we could see from our room. And right here is Hollywood Studios theme park. Right there is the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, which you could clearly see from our balcony. And we'll follow World Drive down just a little further. Right here is Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park. And right there is Expedition Everest, which you could also see that from our room. So let me show you also, where's World Drive? Let's go back up here where we started. So there's Bay Lake Tower, and we were eating on the fourth floor here of the Contemporary Resort. And there was one photograph. See this big overhang? I made that photograph standing about right here, looking at Bay Lake Tower. With the exception of the time lapse, all the photographs that you've just seen were made on the first night when we arrived there at Bay Lake Tower at Walt Disney World. The first shot was made with the 50 to 250 of the two boats crossing. All the rest were made with the 16 to 50 kit lens on the Z50. And I had every intention of combining this part of this video with tomorrow's video, which, and the next video is going to be about the next day where we didn't go to any theme parks, but we went all over Disney property. I did uh, early morning bird photography and we went to the Riviera Resort on the Skyliner. We went to several of the other resorts on the monorail, but it turns out that video has just lots and lots and lots of great photography, so it needs its own video. So I decided to make this video, even though it's kind of short, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, and if you want to see the rest of them, subscribe, hit the bell, boing, and as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.